灯，幽州台歌，陈子昂。前不见古人，后不见来者，念天地之悠悠，独苍然而涕下。登幽州台。This poem has a very special connection with me personally. I walk my dog almost every day across this site, Yuzhou Tai. It's located in Beijing town, downtown, roughly、uh, in the east of the Second Ring. There's nothing today, but it used to be a hill, small hill, the small with a flat top, so it was called Tai in Chinese. So people like to go up the hill to look around the sceneries to express their feelings. So this is what the poet Chen Ziang do as well. Chen Ziang, in some mode, is a genius. He didn't know how to write and read until he was 18, and then he decided to learn how to read and write. And in after several years of hard、uh, learning, he became a very famous、uh, poem. Uh, knowledgeable people. He took a military position at the time being. Anyhow, he was not well recognized by his boss, so he felt so sad that he himself is a very capable man, and he would like to contribute to the country, and he has no chances at all. So look forward. There's no famous Asian fi-、uh, peoples there, and afterwards, there's no new- newcomers there. So it, he feels so lonely, and he feels so helpless, and he weeps. Why this poem is so important for Tang poem is before Chen Ziang. The society just like the calm water. It's all silent for several hundred years. There's no famous song,、uh, poem, no famous songs. And when Chen Zhang comes up with his poems, just like a very loud, strong voice, break the peace. And afterwards, the famous Tang poets. Come, come up one by one, and makes Tang poem prosperous, strong with so many varieties. Just remember, Chen Ziang is the ancestor of Tang poem. Enjoy. <laughs>